Tia Mowry is moving on with a new man, and it looks like her ex-husband, Corey Hardrick, is not happy about it. I don't pay it no mind. I do not pay it no mind. Y'all better start believing that stuff, y'all. There are rumors going around that Tia Mowry recently got back into the dating game, just months after filing for divorce from her husband of 14 years, Corey Hardrick. There's been a lot of he said, she said online since the divorce was announced back in October. And while Corey initially refused to discuss the separation, he recently hopped on IG Live and addressed rumors about Tia and her new boyfriend. So who is this mystery man that Tia is moving on with? And how does Corey feel about getting replaced so quickly? They need to stop that. Just stop it. Come on, y'all. Stop it. You all have probably heard by now that Tia Mowry is getting a divorce from Corey Hardrick. Tia announced the separation on Instagram back in October by sharing this black and white photo and revealed in the caption that she and Corey decided to go their separate ways. Tia said the decision wasn't easy or without sadness. However, she insisted that she will maintain a friendship with Corey as they continue to co-parent their two children. But it now looks like Tia and Corey are having problems staying friends because Corey decided to be petty and challenged the prenup he signed back in 2008 when he married Tia. And he's also asking for spousal support. As for Tia, it looks like she's now trying to show Corey what he's really missed out on, and rumor has it she's already dating someone new. Now to give you a little context first, Tia met Corey in the late 90s when he had nothing to his name and was struggling to make it as an actor in Hollywood. In fact, Tia literally picked Corey up from a bus stop, moved him into her LA apartment, and helped to build his career. I was waiting on the bus stop. We, we sh I was shot my first film. Her sister and her drove by, they saw me waiting, they asked me to give me a ride, I was just like embarrassed. I was downtown. Yeah. They gave me a ride and we were friends ever since. Oh cool. Took me to Inglewood. So that's how that relationship started. Tia and Corey dated for six years before Corey popped the question. And on April 20th, 2008, they tied the knot in Santa Barbara, California. After struggling with infertility for years, Tia gave birth to her first child with Corey in 2011, a son named Cree Taylor. And seven years later, they welcomed a daughter, Cairo Tiana. From the outside, everything looked picture perfect, and Tia never complained about Corey in public, nor does she seem resentful over being the main breadwinner. In fact, Tia gushed about Corey in every interview and praised him for helping her become the best version of herself. He taught me how to believe in myself. I don't know I'm about to cry. More than I believe in myself. He's like my biggest supporter, so. Don't cry. Honey. You're my biggest fan. However, in hindsight, you can tell that Tia and Corey were dealing with something in private because Corey always seemed like he just wasn't as into Tia as much as she was into him. Mm -hmm. And that's just, you know, everything's not perfect. You know, marriage is work. And that's. Yeah, marriage is work. Well, is. I'm not here. Let me. I love you too. To death. Yeah, even though she get on my damn nerves. You get on my damn nerves. <laughs> I mean, but that's a part of a relationship, you know? <laughs> I think we're very realistic. I think that's what's really cool about our relationship. I think that's what's really helped us be together for 15 years. So after Tia announced she filed for divorce last year, a lot of fans initially suspected that Corey had cheated on her. However, Corey quickly shut down the cheating rumors, telling his fans on Instagram to stop spreading lies. Meanwhile, Tia seemed happier than ever, and fans started commenting that the divorce had given her a different type of glow. And while Tia refused to comment on the real reason that she filed for divorce after 14 years of marriage, she did drop a hint back in November when she liked and commented on an Instagram video about narcissistic partners who refuse to pay bills. And if you look at the caption on the video, it says some toxic people will refuse to contribute around the home in any way. So fans put two and two together and concluded that Tia simply got tired of supporting the whole family. And while some fans slammed Corey for being ungrateful and lazy, others said Tia knew exactly what she was getting into when she fell for Corey's potential instead of seeing him for who he was. But despite all of the online drama and the comments, Tia refused to bash Corey in public. And in her recent interview on Today with Hoda and Jenna, she said that she she still considers her marriage with Corey a success. I, I, I look at it as one of my friends, she sent this beautiful letter to me from a woman who got a divorce. And it's all about, you know, this perspective, in my opinion, and just changing the narrative. You know, m my marriage was a success. Yeah. I look at it as like a curriculum when you're in college or high school, right? You're learning, you're growing, you're evolving, you're creating. And I was able to create with Corey some beautiful, amazing children. Yeah. And at the end of that curriculum, and at the end, 
there's a graduation. But while Tia was doing her best to keep things civil, Corey had other plans. Two months after Tia filed for divorce, citing irreconcilable differences, Corey went to court and submitted new documents challenging the prenup he and Tia signed 14 years ago. According to the documents obtained by Radar Online, Corey filed new papers in the Los Angeles Superior Court in response to Tia's divorce filing and denied that irreconcilable differences played a part in their separation. The documents also show that Corey asked the court to deny Tia's spousal support. But see, Tia never asked for spousal support in the first place, which means that Corey is just trying to be petty. In fact, Tia specifically asked that she and Corey not be awarded spousal support because they have a valid prenup. But get this, in his new documents, Corey left the box unchecked on whether he will ask for spousal support from Tia. And on top of that, Corey's lawyer also added a note on the documents requesting the court to examine Tia and Corey's prenup from April 2008 and to check on whether any provisions in the prenup are excessive or unreasonable. So, in other words, Corey is now challenging the prenup he willingly signed, and it looks like he's desperately trying to find a way to make Tia continue to support him after the divorce is finalized. However, fans think Corey's chance of winning this are non-existent because no one made him sign a prenup. And also, with this new filing, he pretty much proved Tia's point about partners who refuse to contribute. Besides that, Tia recently hired powerhouse celeb attorney Laura Wasser, who previously handled a number of high-profile divorces and represented everyone from Johnny Depp to Kim Kardashian, so it's unlikely Corey will win spousal support. But despite all of this, it looks like Tia is not letting the messy divorce steal her shine, because rumors are now flying around that she's already dating someone new. Several sources recently claimed that Tia is getting close to her 17 again co-star Mark Taylor. However, nothing has been confirmed yet. Either way, Tia really seems to be in a great place, despite all of the recent drama surrounding her divorce. Not only is she looking better than ever, but she's also thriving business-wise, and she recently launched a new natural hair care line called For You by Tia. Tia's sister Tamara also recently opened up about Tia's post-divorce glow-up, and she said that it's obvious that Tia has changed for the better. You have your ups and you have your downs, but she's allowing her experience to change her, Tamara told Us Weekly. I feel like she's changed for the better. But what about Corey? How does he feel about Tia allegedly moving on and trying to date again? Well, Corey recently addressed rumors about Tia's new boyfriend during an Instagram Live, and it looks like he was taken aback because he either didn't know Tia has a new man or he's refusing to talk about it. Yeah, y'all wild in these comments. I don't know nothing about no boyfriend. Maybe y'all tell me. I have no idea. You know, I don't know nothing. I don't pay it no mind. I do not pay it no mind. Y'all better start believing this stuff, y'all. But despite Corey trying to convince everyone he's unbothered, fans are saying he's obviously bitter and jealous that Tia is living her best life without him. After all, the fact that Corey went to court and tried to challenge the prenup he signed speaks volumes and it definitely makes him look extra petty. He's starting to get jealous because he thought Tia would go down without him, but he's seeing the opposite, one fan commented. Jealousy. Men always think women need them, and when they see us doing better without them, they can't deal with it. I just hope she stands her ground and doesn't go back to him. And another fan added, he looks pressed and stressed. Why did he feel the need to make this video? We don't see Tia making anything but TikToks and living her best life. But let's hear your thoughts on this. Do you think Corey is jealous of Tia living her best life after divorce? Let us know in the comments. And if you thought this story was messy, make sure to check out this next video.